Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Moon Gaming TV. My name is Wolf, and today I'm bringing to you some more StarCraft 2 action. Today I have for you it's kind of a of a special game, really. It's uh, something that is uh, it's hard to really explain. It's just simply because the person involving it, which you can see here, a lot of you UK viewers will recognise his name, uh, is just that he's not really on the team, but apparently he is. I'm not really sure. I asked the guys and I haven't really gotten a response yet. So I think he's like a trial member of Carnage right now. He's no longer a part of Infused, which I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, confused about. I'm not really sure what the story is there, but we'll just call him. He's a part of the Carnage for now, I guess. He's not really officially, but kind of is. I don't know. Either way, let's uh, introduce our two players spawning in the bottom right hand side. Hey, look at that. It's the same uh, matchup as before. Anyway, it's one in the bottom right hand side. He is red. He is Protoss. He's going to be playing a bit of BS Toss. His name is Yahtzee. And his opponent this morning as the Terran in the blue. Going to be uh, going a certain style that you don't really see often go against Mech. That is what I heard. Anyway, his name is Saber. Alright. So, let's actually talk a little bit about Saber. From what I know, he is a relatively good Zerg player uh, in the UK scene, and um, but he's uh, deciding he's, he's thinking about race switching to Terran. So he sent me this match anyway. Um, he's just been enjoying enjoying Terran more than he has been Zerg. So uh, we'll we'll see what he does in the future. Uh, if he decides to stay as Zerg, he decides to change to Terran. But either way, it's up to him. Now. Uh, We'll see what happens here. It's another TVP. Uh, we'll see what Infused, uh, what uh, Saber does to beat this uh, this Protoss player Yahtzee. We'll see if it's uh, any different to what the uh, what dr uh, to what the uh, Fruit Punch did against Drolla in that last game that I just casted. Now, there's a lot of possibilities that you can do here. There's a style where you just drop the hell out of the Protoss at three different locations and make him just GG and cry and cry out that Terran is OP. That is a style that I've seen t and prevailed pretty well, especially with the whole medevac boost thing. Uh, so, that is a possibility. He's getting a reactor here for his, uh, for his barracks here. I'm actually quite confused. He's going to be getting a command center as well in a moment. But, uh... A reactor this quickly on a command center. This is something that I did not expect. We'll see what he make, what we make of it. He does have gas already, so this could be for a factory, an early factory. You don't really see that versus a, a Protoss, uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens because of it. But a reactor, maybe he just wants to get some early marines, do an early marine push. Uh, we'll find that out. Now, uh, currently. We have the uh, Protoss player opting to not go for an early sort of expand. So we get get out uh, some units here just to be able to defend in the early early case. Now a factory is on the way, so this is really confusing. I'm actually quite. Hmm. I'm wondering what he's going to do with this. Is he going to do like a Marine Hellion push that get against a Protoss? I guess it could work. Uh, we'll find out though. So uh, Widow, oh, I guess Widow Mines are also a thing, but still, I, I don't really see why he would go factory this early. Unless he's going for a 1-1-1, that is also a possibility here. We'll find out. No gas going down now for his Saber here. Oh, both of the gas have been taken for Yahtzee. Yahtzee opting to expand now. After Saber has basically finished his. Now, uh, he has lifted up the barracks, but nothing onto the reactor just yet. Is he waiting for something? No, he's going to put the the factory down onto the reactor. I'm getting Hellions, so this is actually quite confusing right now. I'm not sure what he's going to be doing with this. A uh, starport is on the way, so Banshees are also a possibility here. So this could be a 1 1 1. 1 1 1. This is still quite powerful versus a uh, versus a Protoss when they, when they don't expect it. But Mothership Core is here. We'll end up killing off the. Uh, Pro, uh, STV before he can scout it out, scout out everything that's happening right now. Armoury is on the way, so Hellbats, I do believe, would be on the way now. Uh, Hellbat Marine Push, I guess that is a possibility that could do a lot of damage. Hellbat Drops is actually quite scary. That's exactly what's going to be happening here now. The uh, Armoury is almost finished. He will be able to turn these uh, Hellions into Hellbats. 
Uh, he needs to get two, uh, a few more though, or else he just won't really have the uh, won't really have the number. Going you know, yeah, across the map with this one heli, and I'm really surprised what he's going to be doing here. Phoenix will end up scouting everything. Got two helians at this watchtower, so I apologize. He does have two helians. He's going to see the medevac spawn out of it, and uh, Saber knows already that this is a uh, this is a. Uh, Hallucinated Phoenix, but he hasn't actually scattered out the gas just yet. Have a look at the tab that he sees. This is all that he's seen right now. He's about to run out, but he hasn't seen the second gas. Or the second factory, actually. Wait, what? Saber's going mech? This is really odd. We'll see what he makes of it. Hellbounds are being made right now, but you need to be very careful. Observer going to be coming in here into the main. We'll be able to scatter absolutely everything now. The reactor is being uh, made onto the starport, so it's looking to probably get a bunch of medevacs for these hellbats because hellbats do get healed by medevacs, and it's actually quite scary. He knows that the mech is coming now, so there's no hiding it. Templar Archives is on the way. I uh, might want to get out a bunch of immortals as well because immortals are going to be quite scary in this situation. Now, uh, some siege tanks are being made right now for. In, uh, Saber right now. Does have his two bases up, but he'll be taking his third in the meantime, getting his third command center, producing uh, SCVs doubly to the set, to the natural. Mortals are on the way to counteract the mech army of his opponent. Let's see how many models he will get out. Now the uh, now he does do a, a hellbat drop here. The photon overcharge is used, and he's not focused firing the uh, the medevac here. So he's gonna, he's gonna be able to, yeah, now he decides to focus fire it. He did kill off a few units here, but the Hellbats will be able to stay here and do a lot of damage, but it's only gonna be shield damage for the time being. The Immortal does pop out, and we'll be able to put on a bit of damage onto the Hellbats, the Hellbats will go down. Now another drop is going out now. This Hellbats, he's looking to do a lot of pressure with them. Shulkers and a Sentry and a Immortal are in the natural. Cannon in the nat, uh, in or uh, units in the main, nat, uh, uh, stalkers in the natural, cannon in the natural. We're sending in this medevac two, on the southern side here. Probably going to try to kill off a few more SCVs here, probes even. And they need to be very careful though. The observer is a possibility, and it will probably end up scattering this. The medevac boosters have been uh, used right now. It's going to get straight into the natural here. Will he kill off, be able to kill off a bunch of probes here? He does. We'll be able to kill off heaps here actually. It needs to be very careful though. To pick up and then a uh, feedback does go down onto the medevac, but the medevac needs to be careful. Will it be able to get out? No, it does not. The photon, the photon overcharge was able to kill off that medevac before it was able to do a lot of damage. Another medev medevac coming out over here towards the north side, probably looking to go down into the natural and maybe kill off some uh, more probes. But these uh, these hellbat drops have not been that cost efficient at the moment. We'll see what he decides to go into this from here. Still just us deciding to opt mech. Mech isn't that viable versus uh, Protoss, uh, but it is more viable in HOTS than what it was in, um, in than what it was in Wings of Liberty. So we'll see what happens. We're setting out the tanks and Hellbats to be able to uh, defend the third here. He's getting his third before his opponent is going to be able to kill off a few more uh, probes here. He needs to be very careful. The probes go back towards it. He will end up. No, he almost kills off the meta, the. Photon Cannon, Medivac will also go down, more units being morphed in here, plus two is almost about to complete for both of these players, uh, one for mech, one for ground vehicles, Storm is also complete now for, uh, for Yahtzee, Yahtzee, gonna be going a uh, Zealot Archon, similar style to what his opponent did, we'll see what happens now, we be setting up the uh, gapped uh, supply depots, I like seeing Terrans do this, simply forcing uh, a Zealot army to, if they want to do any damage to the army of the mechic, of the mechic player, they need to go through the little gaps. Uh, generally against the Zerg, you'll close up the gaps because they got Zerglings to get mitigate that. If you can set up this wall type of wall, you can get some Hellbats there, get some uh, Siege Tanks, and you'll be able to kill them off really easily. So I really do like this wall here for uh, Saber here. Now looking to push out across the map, he's got quite a few storms, no, he's just looking to secure his third right now, nothing more. Charge is on the way now, as well as plus one armor. Bunch of Hellbats being made here for uh, Saber here, looking to keep up that uh, that number. 
Four Command Center is going down right now. Now let's see what Saber has seen of his opponent. He knows that that third is there. He's going to be going into the main here actually. He's going to drop down into the main. The medevac will end up going down. He will kill off uh, one or two more probes. He's going to try and kill off the uh, photo cannon. He will not be able to kill it in time though. Just simply because it is uh, doesn't have the DPS to kill it off. Now Yahtzee being very good with his, uh, pull dr uh, uh, his drone pulls. Now a drop over here will end up not killing that much. Forcing the pull of the army here. He could drop into the main here, which is exactly what he's going to, do, going to be doing here. There's nothing to defend other than this, uh, other than this photon cannon. The uh, Hellbat will be able to kill off a few more probes. He needs to be very careful. He's going to be killing more probes. And I do believe the photon cannon will go down this time. That's exactly what's going to happen. But the Zealot should be able to finish off the uh, Hellbat, which is exactly what happens with one hit. Now, a whole bunch of Hellbats have been made here for. Uh, Saber here, we'll see what he decides to go from here, he's gonna get some Thors as well, Thor is here, and uh, we'll see what he makes of it, of it, weapons number 3 is also on the way, 4th command center has been turned into an orbital command, now all these probes over here are not mining, so he needs to be very careful about getting them back to work, the army of, uh, of uh, Yahtzee right now is down by 30 or 40 supply, but it does have a lot of AoE, and that AoE will be able to do a lot of damage. But the siege tank Hellbats uh, could be very scary for uh, for uh, for Yahtzee. Uh, Saber will be able to do a lot of damage with that, so uh, Yahtzee will need to be very careful. We'll see what happens now. Now the Hellbats are going to be dancing with the Zealots here. They're setting up the siege tanks here. Had them set up in a way to be able to defend the north side as well if they decide to walk past it. He'll be able to see everything. Got quite a good setup here. Scan does go down. Scan, there's nothing there. He's going to try and come in here. All of the zealots do it, are just charging into the storm. A massive storms on top of the hellbats and siege tanks. He needs to be very careful. These storms are doing so much damage and a lot of the hellbats go down. But a lot of the army of Yahti just gets crushed by the number of siege tanks that were still alive. Massive storms still going down on top of the Hellbats right now. Hellbats needs to get in there and do a lot of damage to the Arkans. needs to be able to kill them off really quickly. Needs to be very careful. Now, uh, he's going to send these Hellbats around to chase them off. He does end up finishing. One Archon does go down without doing a bit of damage. A drop into the main here. Will end up getting cleaned up by a bunch of Zealots. Now, uh, he's going to be chasing down this army of this Hellbat, uh, Hellbat Thor, uh, this Hellbat just mecking army right now. A bunch of other models being made right now. More robotics facilities to be able to combat this. Thinking that he really needs to get the Colossus and or uh, Immortals out right now, but does he have enough High Templar army morphed in here? But they're not going to be able to do anything really, other than turn into uh, other than turn into Archons. The Archons going to be focused by down a little bit here. These uh, help Medivacs are doing help Medivacs help out to doing so much damage to everything. We have to go in here and do a lot of probe damage. The floors doing a lot of uh, damage versus armored in these buildings. The Immortals going to come in. Zealots going to charge again here. Going to focus firing down on the third base here, and he will be able to get that really easily. But he lost a lot of his army here. But to be fair, he is reinforcing right now with more siege tanks and more Hellbats. Hellbats going to come in here and take up some more damage against these Immortals. The Immortals need to be very careful. Now these siege tanks are going to be sieging up now. There's uh, Zealots being morphed in. Will be too little, too late. Because the Hellbats are doing so much damage against them. The Immortals are going to try and start a step as best as they can to kill off the Hellbats, which is exactly what's going to be happening. The third base does get taken again, but it will be taken down. He needs to cancel. He needs to be very careful. The Immortals are being morphed in, uh, morphed in here. They should be able to start step and kill a lot of these siege tanks here. But there is a lot of siege tanks and Hellbats still over here at the north base, uh, at the watchtower here of uh, Yahtzee. I mean, of uh, Saber. Saber taking, looking to take his fourth, his fifth, and his sixth base all at the same time. Fourth base has been taken. Army going to be rallying out across the map. Fourth base being taken right now. for Yahtzee. Yahtzee needing to keep up that economy. He really needs it right now on this uh, three robotics facility um, situation right here. Uh, Smacking Army. I mean, I did not expect it to do that much damage, but it seems that there just isn't enough Immortals out right now, and and I don't think a Yahtzee expected it as well. He just thought, oh yeah, there's going to be some uh, help out with his army, but no. It seems that it's going to be pure mech right now. The army of uh, Saber is moving out across the map, just rallying out across the map. Now, uh, 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 and Saber is going to be sitting up here, going to be able to do so much damage. He's firing down onto the Immortal. The Immortal goes down really quickly. A lot of this is going down a massive storm on the Hellbats, but the hell, it's just going to be too little too late. The Siege Tanks focus fire down onto 
the High Templar, the High Templar do get take down in one volley. Now, uh, 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 Saber here is just is now a whole hundred supply ahead of his opponent right now. Um, the probes do end up going over towards the fourth base of uh, Yahtzee's. Now, uh, Saber is going to be sitting here, taking the lead that he needs right now. May he's maybe going to uh, set up a good contain. Still a, ni a ninety supply ahead of his opponent right now. This is insane right now. Now he's going to be sending in the Hellbats. He he's going to be unseaging as well. He's going to move in to put on more damage. No, he's backing out here. Probably going to get a good flanking maneuver between the natural and the third and the fourth. No, he's going to be uh, loading up into these medevacs with these Hellbats. They're going to be do a lot of damage with these drops over at the fourth. Now he needs to be very careful here. Photon overcharge is used. But it's not going to be. It's not going to be enough. There's not enough AOE here. The siege tanks will siege up here. It's going to be coming in at a tight choke, but he needs to be very careful. The siege takes the siege takes focus right down on Eddie that comes in here. The Hellbats taking a lot of damage here. Matter of fact, able to heal them, but the uh, models are just going to be too low. It's just not enough of them right now. The siege takes going to be focused right down onto the third base and killing it again. And then retreating back to the uh, the, the defense of the siege takes. We're sitting at all the immortals. He is just not, he just can't do it. The immortals are being uh, just focused right down by the siege takes so much, and he just can't defend it right now. He's got to sacrifice his third right now and just try and defend the fourth. But a drop that's going to come in here. He's got focus firing down onto the cannon. We'll end up killing that off now. But the army of infused is too large. It's over 100 supply still. We're going to be setting him in. Sieging up here at the natural and sieging the natural, I do believe, right now. And uh, so he's just going to be getting prepared. There's a few immortals here and a few aquas, but that is it. There's nothing here for Yahtzee to be able to defend against this. No, he's just, he knows it. He's just going to A move his army in here right now. GG is called. And Saber wins the game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching this very confusing game. I did not expect the mech play here. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.